Yes, people, what's going on, everyone? It's Mike back again, and different change of setting. I'm in Lanzarote, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm here. Um, so, I want to address something first. So, firstly, I've had a couple of people, um, rightly so, mention about content over the last few weeks, months even, because of lack of, you know, not uploading a video every couple of days, saying I was going to do a video every day, and there's been reasons for that, obviously, with everything that I've always been open and honest with you, so let me explain the reasons why there hasn't been the content that I said there was going to be, and then we'll get into the content. So firstly, um, we've had a lot going on with my little boy and school, and um, that has needed to be addressed. So... That's made me really stressed. Um, it's made me not really in a good place mentally. Um, so I haven't wanted to make content. Then obviously Everton being as bad as we were really put me off. Like it was really difficult to get up and motivated when we were losing every week. Panicking, stressing. You know, we were supporting the team. I was doing every trip I could. You know, well, I went to every home game. So it was really difficult stay motivated apart from doing match reactions where I wanted to probably murder them to be honest because we were so poor so that affected it and then recently I've had a family holiday to Florida I'm here um, because we, we've caught up on holidays that were booked during Covid and we didn't go um, and I'm now in the process of buying a house um, now what, what that means for the channel going forward is when we're in a house um the plan was always to have a dedicated space, i.e. a studio, and to create a studio, or at least a setup of some sort. That's the plan. That has been one of the purposes of buying the house. Obviously, it's not the main one. The main one's we want a house, we live in an apartment, we want a garden for the dog and for Finlay, and etc., etc. But one of the objectives was, was to get a garage, be able to have a setup, create a studio, and the channel will be changing. So literally... Give me a couple of weeks once I've got into the house, which is probably going to be October, November. You'll have you'll have regular content in a better background, on better systems, with better software, and you'll have much better version of me. Because I appreciate this isn't the offering that I wanted to give you. There's no more intros, there's no more outros, there's no more, you know, cool graphics, there's no more watch alongs. And I get that a lot of people have been frustrated by that and, and this isn't the content you want. So I can assure you, it's coming, and I, and I promise that. Also, this summer, up until recently, Everton really haven't done much. We haven't been linked with players. People will say you haven't done a match preview for Arsenal. To be honest, I hadn't thought about doing match previews for the, for the, um, for the games in pre-season. And the reason why is because I didn't know what to expect. What's the point of sitting here rambling for seven or eight minutes... Talking about a game, I have no idea who's going to start. No idea about form, Everton are going into it. No idea who's fit, not fit. What was the point? So, I didn't want to waste your time. So, this is where we are as a channel. I also have people say that, you know, they like to support me more. People want me to start a Patreon and things like that. I won't do that. I won't do that. Um, or at least I won't do it at the minute. Because I, I don't... I. I don't want to. I've, I've never been one of the one of the types to do that, and that that isn't a dig to anyone that does Patreon and makes good content for, for Patreon users. It's just not a model that or, or a, a system that I ever really wanted to use. To be honest, um, I enjoy making free content on YouTube, um, and maybe because of that free element, maybe I've let the you know the the ball slip, and I apologise for that. So that's where we are. Let's talk about transfer updates and let's talk about the Arsenal game a little bit. Let's start the Arsenal game. Everton played Arsenal. It was a tough watch. Um, it was even tougher for me because I had to get up three hours earlier for, after for a flight, so that was a killer. But Everton played all right in spells but couldn't really get out the half. The first half with the defending Holgate, Mina, defensively... I thought we were all over the place at the back at times. Every time there was a ball into the box or a corner, I kind of felt like we conceded. They hit the post. Um, Jesus had a couple of opportunities. Pickford made a decent save. We couldn't get out of our half because the passing was poor. But when we did get out of the half, 
we did cause Arsenal problems. The pace of Damari Gray, the pace of Decor on the right hand side as well at one point caused problems. But there just wasn't enough. And you can see it was clear as day the players that maybe aren't good enough. The problem you have is, is whether you can move them on or whether Lampard thinks they're going to get better. But you could clearly see the players that weren't good enough, in my opinion, throughout the whole 90 minutes. And that isn't just judging them on one pre-season. That is judging some of these players over a long period of time. Because in the second half, when we made some more changes and we brought on the young lads, Warrington, for example, um, and, and Rhys Walsh, uh, Walsh etc., we looked better. There, there was an energy, there was an urgency. I thought the good bombing, I thought he did a better job than Decore, for example. Um, I felt like Gordon was prepared to pick up the ball and carry it more than we probably saw Tamari Gray do. I felt like Iwobi was everywhere. We didn't concede a goal. We looked all right. We looked, we looked perfectly fine. And it was disappointing that some of the players in the first half, who are first-teamers, um, got out Sean. Now, it's pre-season, and the, and the lads on their debut for Everton would want to put in a performance, of course. But they got out Sean by a lot of younger, talented players. And I, I actually said, this is what frustrates me about Everton, because... We've had this quality over the years, and we've done nothing with it. We've not, we've not, you know, we've not shown it off. We've not given them opportunities. And somebody said, "Well, we haven't had the quality over the years. We've won the under 18s league twice in the last five years, and we've won the under 23s league twice in the last five years. Where are those players?" So it's disappointing. There is a current crop of players that I think we'll see a lot more of, and that's because Lampard is the coach. Kevin Thurwell has this direction on, on kids, and I, and I get that. I like that. I enjoy that. I think it's good that we're going to see more of our younger, talented players because we need to. We absolutely need to, and it's been a long time in coming, in my opinion. But we also still need to strengthen. And that brings me on to the transfer stories. Everton have been linked with numerous players yet again. However... One that stands out for me is 19-year-old Wolfsburg midfielder, whatever his name is. However, he is strong, quick, aggressive, can ball carry, can tackle. Rumours are flying around at 7 million. Now, what I said in a video the other week, if we've got players who are young that can do that job, I don't agree with bringing other young players in. However... When I look at the Everton team and the, and the youngsters that we've got, I don't think there is a player like him, and I think he would be a great fit. He reminds me a little bit of Jude Bellingham, not as polished. Jude Bellingham is obviously clearly much more polished. But this is a kid that has got a lot of potential, a lot of raw pace. He's been linked with moves to Fulham, Forest. He's really, really good. So for me, I'm all over a player like like that. What we also need to do, though, is make sure that we're strengthening in other areas. And one of the other areas that we need to strengthen is on the wing slash up front. And Everton have been linked with Maxwell Corner from Burnley. Everton have had a loan bid rejected and, and Burnley are pushing for a permanent deal. I get why. I get why. I understand why. It's just the position that Everton are in. We seem to be scrimping, screw, saving for everything. You know, Brozier, for example, that was another one that he looks like he's off to West Ham. So we're losing another target. Maxwell Corner was not one of the first targets for Everton, albeit he's a good player, no doubt about it. But we're in a really shit position that we can't strengthen these positions that we genuinely need strengthening. And the players that we're being linked with, other players can go out and lash the money on. We're in a really poor position in that sense. So for me... I want to get this deal done however we need to get it done as soon as possible. I think Brozier's gone. I think he's going to West Ham. And, and it's really disappointing because I, I think we need something. We've been linked with Ross Barkley again today and I don't want him back. I don't want him back. But it, it's really difficult to discuss the, the pros and cons with Ross because... The pros was, 
he was a really good player in his day at one point. He's still only 27, 28 years old. The con is the way he left. And and how consistent are we going to see that Ross Barkley? And that's a real struggle for me. So, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. For, for me, if we can get Cornet over the line, his directness, his pace, his ability to cross will cause problems for the opposition. He scored nine goals for Burnley last season in 24 appearances or something. Clearly knows where the goal is. As a, as a winger. So, yeah, look, bring him in. He needs to have the right attitude and, and that's going to be difficult because, you know, I appreciate where Burnley were different in that sense because Cornet was probably seen as their their best player or, or one-off. I don't think he walks into that Everton team in the same vein, partly because of players like Andre Go- uh, Andre Go- Partly because of Anthony Gordon and players like that who really have lit up, you know, Everton in that in that position on the left hand side, on the wing, on the right hand side. So he he has a big job. He has to show his work ethic. He has to show his determination. He has to show his drive. He has to show goals. Big job for him. So look, I hope he joins. Um, just like other players we've been linked with, but yeah, he he's he's okay. He's good. The disappointing one is Brozier because that that is a player that Everton were linked with for a long time, and we just can't make the deal. Like we just don't appear to be able to make the deal, and while other Premier League teams can, and that it's a killer. It's a killer to see the fall from grace. The where we are, um, I'm not enjoying this transfer window, not at all. And I, I'm sure I'll enjoy the season more when it actually kicks off. But at the minute, I'm not enjoying it at all, and. I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned how easy it was to cut us open the other night. Gabriel Jesus scored a goal from a from a ball into the box from a mistake that where the ball was passed out of play. The ball comes over and he he literally takes one step back and put puts it in the bottom corner. I mean it, it it's it's ridiculous. It's schoolboy defending. It was so poor. The second one was just as bad. Literally five minutes after. So. Everton have got a lot of issues this summer and it's difficult to be positive about it and I just need to change. I need something to, to go our way and at the minute I feel like nothing's going our way. Um, it'll be nice to touch wood, get a win under our belt against Minnesota, hopefully. And then obviously we've got Blackpool the weekend, which is always a good game. Um because you you know you get to go out have a few drinks have a laugh etc. But yeah, it's tough at the minute. It's tough, tough, tough being an Everton fan, and I just hope that we um, start to turn the corner a little bit. So look, guys, I'm leaving it there. I've explained where I am. The channel is explained players that are like us to sign, and uh, yeah, I hope you're good. Peace.